Hello, this is Michael Gillen, and in front of me I have two pairs of wireless Bluetooth headphones from the company called Riflow. Uh, we have the RIWH01 and RIWH03. Uh, I'll only be opening up the WH03 today. This is the more premium pair, costs more, um, and I hopefully will uh, like it because I really like the idea of having a around the neck headphones. So there's not much information on the box except for the model number, and in the back it tells you it has a Built-in microphone, 150 hours of playtime, gentle fit, hi-fi audio, advanced chip, lightweight, fast charging, IPX7 waterproof, and working range of 10 meters. Um, so, looks good. Uh, I guess not much information. Um, it is made in Shenzhen, China, and you could email them at support.riotflow. The address is in Shenzhen. Uh, yes, in Shenzhen. And um, it's FCC compliant, so let's get to unboxing it. We're opening it up and we're going to use my trusty razor to do that. And there's a layer of plastic over it. We can just take that right off. Okay. And I was thinking it might need to be charged the first time with you, but um, I'm really just going to be doing an unboxing here. And showing you what's inside the box. All right, that's it. This is what's inside the box. Okay, so first you got the actual pair of headphones. So this is a funky shape. All right, um, you got extra pair of buds uh, tips here. You got small and then large, and I'm guessing those are medium. Over here you have another set of buds, and these are yellows. So if you want the yellow color, you know the yellow color. Um, over here is the instruction user manual, and I will show that to you if you would like to see it. All right, and over here is another set of buds, blue buds. So you have blue, yellow, and red. That's actually pretty cool. Um, over here is the charging cable. Oh, nice, it's Type-C. I like to see that. Um, it's got a nice Velcro here. Probably oh, didn't need this much. Wow, it's a lot of Velcro for a tiny little cable. All right, uh, I'm probably never gonna use this cable, um, but it's good to have it as a backup, I guess. Let's get that backup. So I always just have a charger that I use for all my Type-C devices. An anchor one that's just sitting right here. Um, and here's the actual set of headphones. This is going to be more like a first impression unboxing than a review, obviously. Oh gosh, it's stuck in there. I don't want to ruin them. Okay, got it. Got it. All right. Okay, so they're not retractable. Or they're not anything. They're just they just sit like this on your neck. So if you were to put it on your neck, this is how it will be. Um, this is, it says right R for the right side and L for the left side. It's got a sticker here, which I'll take off, I guess. I'm uh, not sure where that sticker was, but um, let's see where the microphone is. I'm assuming it's on, it's on this thing right here. Yeah, there's a microphone right there. Um, here is a charging port. Not sure how much technology is inside the actual headphones because um, it looks like a lot of the stuff are inside of here. Uh, here is a charging port and here is plus volume, plus minus volume and on and off which is the regular Bluetooth um, and it's magnetic it seems. Okay, oh okay so they, they connect to each other so that way you could just have them connected to each other in front of you. I guess that's a thing that you would want possibly. Um, all right. There's not much else to say about these headphones. Honestly, they're very, um, very bland. Uh, they're just headphones. These feel okay. Nothing special. Like, I don't feel any specific weight to them. Um, I always think, I always thought that these headphones are much better than, for example, I have a ton of Bluetooth wire for your headphones. Uh, like, for example, the Samsung Buds, I use them all the time. And these, for example, like, you know, they, they're these um, Bluetooth headphones. The thing is, with these are is that it's very annoying to take it in and put it out of your ears, whereas this is always next to you, um, which can be very convenient because it's always right next to you. Um, like you could just take it, put it in your ear, put it, take it out, and just drop it. And um, I feel like that's much more convenient a lot of times. However, of course, it is very useful to have these at times as well. Like, you, you know, you don't always want to be wearing one of these. Um, but let's connect it up to my phone and see how it how it connects. Um, so, if I had to guess, 
the way you connect to Bluetooth is the same way you connect to any Bluetooth. So you go to the Bluetooth devices, pair a new device. So you would have to put the device into pairing mode. So here's how to connect it. I'm gonna, hopefully this is working. Okay, see, and now it's blinking blue and red, which shows it's in pairing mode. And you'll see that it shows up over here as RYWHO3. So just connect to that and it should work. Allow access to your call history, sure. And connected. Okay, great. So now that it's connected, let me just test it out. Good. The quality is pretty good. Um, I could put a little bit by the microphone here, but I don't think you'll actually hear it. Um, yeah, quality is pretty good. Let's try the pause and play button. All right. Oh, that's the volume button. Okay, pause and play button's working. Volume up and down working. Okay, great. So uh, it definitely works. Um, now after trying it for this past whole minute, let me give a little bit of my um, feedback. My feedback is, is that these cables are too long. They really are too long. You don't need it to be that long. It's getting in my face. It doesn't, It's it, this is like getting in my face. I want it to eat, hang low and then I can put it in my ear. But like this cable is just like, Swishing my face. Um, it could be that I'll get used to that, but uh, let's give an example. I have a pair of other very similar headphones called the JLab Gravity, and they connect from back here. And the cool part about this is that you use your own you use your own headphones. So um, these do not get in my face at all, at all. However, they're a little bit annoying because of the wiring. I thought I would like it because I could use my own headphones, but honestly, like the whole wiring situation, I have to use twist ties over here. Like, not my favorite type of situation, but of course it, it actually works really well. So this costs forty dollars also, um, and honestly, this one works very well and does not get in my face. This one, I guess I have to get used to it. We'll see. So it blinks blue when it's um, disconnected, I guess, because it's blinking blue right now and it's connected. Um, and it is waterproof, which is nice, and it doesn't have like the wires here. It's like actually very clean. So I guess in a way. They are better, um, so I guess I'll try them out, see if I like them. Anyway, um, I hope this review was helpful to you. If you did find this useful, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe, and leave a comment if you want to see me do anything else, or uh, if you have any comments. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.